as reported by me, <laughs> Skip Bayless and um, Lil Wayne will be doing uh, segment shows once a week. And the carousel begins, or the car wash is what they call it, when everybody's going to start pitching in on the Undisputed Flag Show. So Richard Sherman is supposed to do a segment, um, I believe, on Mondays. That's going to happen to talk about football. Uh, I think Joy Taylor is going to come in, and she's going to have a certain day. Where she comes in and then Skip for the first time will be debating a female on the show. Um, those are like tentatively. Like they pinned them there. They're not permanent. Um, Little Wayne was the only one permanent right along with other Cash Money members. Uh, well, Young Money rather. So you might see Nicki Minaj on Undisputed. And the rest of the crew, you just have to stay tuned. So this is different format for Skip Bayless. Skip can debate with anybody, but he really wanted a one-on-one -on -one partner. And he really couldn't find that one partner that's going to basically be his punching bag <laughs> for you know, three hours a day, five days a week, you know, dealing with Skip and a longer duration of a show, you know, that's saying a lot. So now when Undisputed comes back, it's going to be an entirely different format and what you were used to before. I don't know how the fans will feel about that. The nostalgia of Lil Wayne coming on the show and debuting on the show. Um, that'll fade in a couple of weeks. And then you're going to have to be there because of your knowledge of what you're talking about. The actual, you know, this is Lil Wayne thing is kind of, that's going to jump the shark in probably two, three weeks. And Wheezy, you know, he doesn't really have a television co-host voice. Like, I can't listen to Lil Wayne talk for three hours a day, in a day, period. I just can't do it. Because his talking voice and his rap voice is entirely different. You know, when you got Lil Wayne's voice, it's like... Uh, uh, you know, I think they should go ahead and throw the ball more. And then you got, like, now the Packers, they don't have Aaron Rodgers no more. So without Aaron Rodgers in there, I don't know who they really should get. I don't know if Jordan Love is ready to throw the ball like that. And if you want to listen to that for three hours, Good luck. <laughs> so the game has changed to celebrity status more than actual status. So when you have actual status and actual things that are in place, you have scenarios that are designed and laid out for you rather than you laying these things out for yourself. You know, so. Uh, it's a lot of people, cooks in the kitchen, you know, Skip gets final say. So he had to get final say to okay all this. So now that Skip is okayed all this, now they got to be, you know, caught into it. They got to be one with everybody. I would I would say well, not everybody who's doing this, I would say it's about ninety percent um in favor of of ESPN right now because first take has just been rolling with what they've been doing. 
And now that they're going to start the car wash scene over here, I don't know how long they do it before Lil Wayne gets burnt out. And on one Friday, he ain't feeling it. He just don't feel like getting up that early to do it. And it's cool being friends with somebody and then actually working with somebody. That's an entirely different world. And you can tell anybody who worked with a friend, worked with a uh, military, worked with, <laughs> you know, once you have a business or y'all work together or live together, things become different. You get to see who they are 24 hours a day. And you might want to choke your friend. Or you might not even be friends at the end of the day. You know, me and my friend, we just like, yeah, we grown apart. <laughs> you know, I went to his wedding and I ain't talked to him in about two years. And he called me about the wedding. I showed up to the wedding. It was like nothing ever, like no time it missed. Then right after it was like back to the same thing, you know, so. And that works perfect for me because I felt we've outgrown each other, you know. And some people are just, you know, jealous of your success. Not just jealous, they don't want to be around it because they haven't accomplished that kind of success so they feel intimidated by it. And, and I'm not really that successful. It's just that that's what, you know, I'm more successful than when they knew me. They'd rather see you messed up, had nothing. Then that's when you're your boy, you know, hey, all right, we ain't got nothing together. Then you start having something. They don't even want you to help. I don't need your help. There ain't nothing wrong with my mix. Trust me, I got some things in the work you just don't know about it yet. That was 2016 and we still don't know about it. But, uh, yeah, you try to help and people, you know, they don't know how to stay out of their own way. Uh, who else they're going to have on the show? Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be a lot of Fox Brass. I think Shady McCoy might have an episode on a day. He comes in. Um, I've seen uh, Joy Taylor and I've seen Richard Sherman. So that's four out of the five days. I, other than that, I don't know who else. Little Wayne was supposed to do one day, and that was it. And yeah, he's going to alternate, bring in some young money people. It's going to be a whole different experience. So Fox is excited. They're going to have Little Wayne on the show every Friday. Well, that's probably Skip's only friend. <laughs> Nobody else is really riding with Skip Bayless like that. Nobody I know is out here saying, you know what, you know what we need out here, what, most skip. Now, you don't start a show after being gone for about two months. You don't start your show in a format you're not going to keep. So, if you come back and you're doing a car wash, rotating carousel show, that's where you're going to be. That's where the show is going to remain. You have no choice. This is the reality that you're signed up for. This is the new, the new circumference that you, you're going to be um, stuck in if you're Skip Bayless. There is no wiggle room. There is no outs. You're either all in or you're out. No one has any more time for excuses. Um, I've seen a lot of people make a lot of ex excuses about where the franchise is going to go from this point on. And, and can Lil Wayne save the show? And I've heard a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Seriously. Can Lil Wayne save this show? She know, can, is Wayne the answer? Wayne and Skip. I said, that's going to be hot for the first week or maybe two. After the hype dies down, 
how long will Lil Wayne want to keep getting up early on Fridays to keep making the show? Or is he going to send somebody else from cash money or your money in there to take his place sometimes? Because I can't see Lil Wayne doing this on the grind repeatedly over and over and over again. Something that's at capacity. It's going to be at a level that many have not seen before. Uh, where a rapper joins the show. Well, he had Nelly on the show before. Before Nelly got into his trouble on tour. Fox ended up dropping him. So, that happened. You had a, a lot of people doing a lot of dumb stuff nowadays. So... Yeah, times are crazy. Absolutely they are. But as time gets crazy, we move forward. So y'all let me know what y'all expect out this show. I'm more interested to see him debate Joey Taylor. Because she was the moderator before. So she he gave her her first opportunity. So now she gets to be, you know, she's gotten some power now. So if Joey Taylor's sitting across from me, I don't know how Skip's going to take that, <laughs> you know, and how far that's going to go. But for one day out of a week, that might could work. Well, they got along till they didn't. <laughs> you know, like everybody else, they got along till they didn't. I don't see that happening. I see only, I see only, um, scenarios that don't play out well you know i see that happening can little wayne uh go through the grind of doing this not the excitement it's gonna get for the first month but the months after when it gets long and you don't feel like doing it you're out of town you got an arrange event you know engagement to do can't see him doing it every week, every four Fridays, every Friday, Little Wayne gonna be there. Can't see that. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens and how it plays out, but I'm telling you, I can't see that happening. I'd love to see LaShawn McCoy on there, because Shady breaks the mold. What Shady does is Shady's not ready, he's terrible. As, as doing this, but he's just like somebody off the couch. You know, you get that guy off the couch that's doing it, out the park. So I think he'll knock it out the park. Just his randomness. Like him rapping in front of Skip Bayless like that, that was something Skip was not expecting. A freestyle in the middle of Skip's monologue. Skip wasn't feeling it. So that, their continuity have to get better and work together. But we'll see. Anyway, it's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Deuces.